Yeah, hey, mate. Can you play My Heart Will Go On? Of course, sir. Why don't we just make it an even dozen renditions of that beautiful song, shall we? All right, here you go. Oh, thank you, sir. I joined the Blue on day one, and I've never left. I can remember her maiden voyage. It was $300 for three days to Vanuatu. It was very exotic. I mean, this was an elegant ship back then. That was a lot of money. But um, in the last 25 years, the price has stayed the same. Passengers. Tonight is formal night, if you can believe it. Fucking gypsies. He's actually really fun. He wasn't great, but you do have to remember he's old. He's like, I don't know, like 50 odd. 73. He kept doing this thing where he would like sing his own songs to get hard, <laughs> which is a, like a bit weird, but I did know some of them, so that was a win win. I'm sorry, is this weird for me to be talking to you about this? No, of course not. Unless it's making you feel uncomfortable, then we could... No, no, no. I, I really feel like I can talk to you. You're like my ship girlfriend. Oh, that is so great. What about you? You got any juicy stories? Ah, no, nah, not really. Um, I'm just working on a TV show that I haven't really told anyone about. Hit me. Okay, well, it's a magic show. And I travel around the world and make famous landmarks and monuments disappear before your very eyes. Like the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, exactly. You know, one minute's there, next minute... Gone. And then what? Oh, yeah, that's that, that, that's it. So you just, you make the Eiffel Tower disappear. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty big deal. That would be really hard. No, yes, definitely. It's just like, that's two seconds of, of time. What do you do for the rest of the show? Well, I, I talk about doing the trick, talk about having done the trick. I mean, I would watch it. Don't forget me when you're famous. Nah, you'll be famous before me. Hey, maybe. Glenn said um, he'd introduce me to his agent. He's so nice. Oh, he sounds so nice. Yeah. Good day, Glenn. Oh, no, not you again. You're like a bloody dog with a bone. What do you want? Well, I came with a peace offering. Wanted to make sure everything was great for our big star. Fine. OK. Uh-oh. Oh, I, um, uh... Poor thing. She thought she was going to be famous. <laughs> but I think I did her a favour, don't you? Yeah. No. Uh, do you mind? Yeah. OK. It's your fruit. See you later. Bye. All right, fuck off. Oh, yes, yeah, Simon. Sorry, mate. How can I help you? Oh, it's just something I wanted to talk to you about. It's just a little bit sensitive, that's all. Oh, it's okay, mate. We'll go get Doc Patterson and take a look at it for you, okay? Oh, I wouldn't see him if I was dying. You're dying? Oh, my God. No. Simon, I'm so glad you came and saw no, me. I'm not dying. I'm leaving. At the end of the cruise, I'm, I'm done. Has someone from TV Land called about your TV show? Uh, no. My mum's boyfriend's offered me a job in his shop. Magic shop? Tie fitting. Why would you want to work there? Well, because it's got to be better than waiting around for some big break that's never going to happen, you know? Big break? Mate, this is your big break. Mate, we're living the dream. You do card tricks and sail around the world, drinking cocktails. Is this about Shorik and Flick? Because I'm not happy about it either, mate. No, it's not that at all. Um, you know, I just feel like I've left my real life on hold, you know? Real life sucks. Try swapping jobs with Alvin. Poor guy's working 12 hours a day cleaning vomit while guests walk past him like he's not even there. Then he works four to five hours a night dealing with spoiled entertainers. His wife is back home being impregnated by his brother in the Philippines. Meanwhile, he's got the biggest smile on his face. Never a complaint. Just hang in there, mate, okay? Can you do that for me? We need you. I was gonna ask you, by the way, can yeah. you show us that thing where 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going through. Is the Queen of Spades supposed to stay on top or on the bottom? Okay. Look, it's a bit of a circus, and I guess that makes yours truly the ringleader. But it is my job, you know? And sometimes the crew whine and moan. Sometimes you get the lead singer of the best band ever, and your personal hero, and it, it turns out they're not the nicest person in the world. But I've got to make sure everyone has what they need to perform at their best. Whether it's a big star or, or a lowly dancer. Everybody matters on the Crystal Blue, and I have to make sure that I look after all of my people. Sorry. Uh... Alvin, do you want to make some money tonight? Glenn! Sure! I can't work like this. What the fuck's going on? 